Hey guys, how's it going? Nathan here. Alright, so we have a brand new world back in. This is the Trifle Only. Very cute little name, but this guy has a couple trick up his sleeve. For starters, if you're pet owners and you have a cat, you know how they are. They love to chase little red dots across the floor. Well, this guy has an onboard laser pointer. Take a look there. There's that cat, and I can shine a laser pointer and uh, entertain it for hours. Also, this guy has an onboard air freshener. So, if you're going around like a pet room where it's a little smelly after not cleaning the cage for a few weeks, well, this might help uh, alleviate that scent. All right, so it comes with some lemon scented uh, little capsules here. You probably can get some more on the website. So check out Trifle's website. They are not uh, new to the market. They've actually been out for a while, but they have a few models like the Emma, they have the Lucy, and this is the upgrade to the Lucy called the Ollie. But let's check out this raw vacuum. There's some unique features besides those I just mentioned. There's a front facing camera, time of flight sensor, and of course you got the smart mapping. All right, let's go and just get started. Okay, so one unique feature besides the laser pointer and air freshener is the onboard camera. Now, there's two sensors. There's the 1080p HDR camera, which can also see at night, and there's a time of flight sensor. So, for smaller obstacles, this robot vacuum should be able to navigate around it. Unlike other models that have live video streaming capabilities, this one has two-way audio. So, in theory, you could speak through the robot and you can listen to what your pet's doing or if you want to interact with your uh, friends and family when you're not away. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the box here. It's a pretty nice box. As you can see, it's aimed for pet owners. Uh, it's named Oli. You got the dog jumping around, the cat basically thinking the dog's crazy, and it's two times stronger suction, 3,000 pascals. Now let's go and uh, look below here. There's the interesting features. You have an onboard laser pointer, you have an onboard air freshener, and there's an optional suction only port. So great if you have a lot of pet hair and you don't want that brush full to get tangled up, switch it out to that suction only port. And there's a dual filter seat belt zones. You got area select and you can label the rooms. Detect options as well, 3D objects, as small as one inch, that's what they said. And one of the signature features of Trifos brand is the live recording. Yes, you can record and you can do a live video stream with the robots. Very cool. And this one says it has 4,000 pascals of suction. First impression is pretty nice. You got the Ole with the paw print. So this is all the information right there. So if you have any issues, so you can contact them. It's gold accents. You kind of give it a more premium look. This is the limit scent. So this is for the air freshener, onboard laser pointer, and air freshener unit. Very interesting. It looks like it takes uh, two AA batteries or triple A batteries. Yeah, a single uh, triple A battery right there. The good part, the robot itself. A pretty nice looking robot. You got this gold accent here, trifo. Uh, it looks like we have a power button. Also probably acts like a clean button. Return to your home. Take a look here. Can you guys see that? Uh, front facing camera is right there. You got your time of flight sensors and there's a suite of infrared sensors on the side. Uh, let's go and kind of rotate this guy. So this is your exhaust vents and it looks like it charges from the rear here. And nothing on this side. So I don't see a dedicated uh, edge sensor. So we'll see how well it does around edges. This guy flipped around. Okay, so this is interesting. Uh, one thing I noticed is the side brush here has a uh, three large arms and then uh, three small arms. So that's interesting design. A front wheel caster, like a lot of these robots. Looks like we got how many? One, two, three, uh, three on the other side. So six clip sensors. And there's the information about the robot. Let's check out the extractor bar here. Let's see how I remove it oh, from these clips. So this is an interesting extractor bar, nothing too crazy. You got your bristles, your uh, rubber fins here, and let's see if we can remove the ends. Looks like we can't. These are permanent, but don't worry. You do have a suction only port if you have a lot of pet hair, and it should just snap right on. 
like that. So this is great for pet owners who dogs share a lot of hair, the cats, or even like their significant other. Uh, I like these section only ports. And we have a um, charging contacts in the rear, and there is a uh, sensor to know if the robot's moving or not, or not. So very cool right down there. Okay, so let's go and get this guy charged up. I want to see how well the Trifo does. This is called the Oli. Um, excited to try this robot out. Okay, so one thing that some people may overlook is how easy it is to set the robot vacuum up to your smartphone. Well, luckily Trifo spent some time making sure it's a pretty seamless process. Now, once you got the application loaded up, you can see it kind of walks you through the process. You basically turn the robot on and then you hold down the home button for about 3-5 to five seconds until the robot vacuum announces it's in the Wi-Fi pairing mode. Next, what you do is you make sure you're on a 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network at the 5 GHz and you will have to put in your Wi-Fi password so the application can link up the robot to your home network. Alright, so once you do that, the robot vacuum will actually ask you for a QR code which is displayed on your smartphone screen and you basically put your smartphone in front of the robot so it can scan a QR code to link up directly to your smartphone. Once you got logged into your account and you paid out the robot, you can just jump right into the main home screen of the robot. Now, you can see that you have a couple interesting features down below. You have the more feature which allows you to do a few things. Also, uh, you can see the live map here. Um, I have created a map and it actually creates your own rooms. Unfortunately, at the time of filming, you can't actually edit your own room and create your own boundary. So hopefully Trifo can add that in a later software update. Okay, so you can see some statistics here. We have a cleaning area, we have the time it took, and the remaining value of life. And down below we have clean, which will do the entire area. We have recharge, we have a start video. This allows you to actually um, have a live video feed and there is two-way audio communication. Now, one interesting thing is I can't do auto uh, switching from night to day. I have to manually push that little sun icon so I can see if it's complete darkness. You also have the ability to record directly to your device and you also can snapshot whatever the robot sees. And if you don't want the voice recorder on, well, you can turn off the little uh, mic or speaker icon. Okay, so you do have the option to go into full screen and it's basically the same thing, but I prefer having a dual layout where I can see the map and also the live preview. All right, so in the more feature, you have designated room area. So yes, you can actually select a different room. Again, you can't create your own rooms. It automatically does that for you, but you can name your rooms. Okay, so you have designated area. So you can only do one designated area. Hopefully down the road, they can allow you to add more designated areas. And for me, I think just having a single area is a little too sparse. Give us ability to do more areas. Now, you can uh, create a new map. Uh, one thing to know is it only supports one map at the time of filming. So again, maybe a software update to allow multiple maps, but you can delete the map and you can also rename the map, whatever you like. But you do have the option to turn off the map if you are going to move the robot a lot throughout your house. All right, manual control is basically a remote control feature. Uh, it works okay. Um, you have a joystick off here to your left. You also have a designated spot to go, uh, spot cleaning, and you have suction setting. You have the start video. You have night high definition capture, which is the screen capture, and you can record directly to your device. Okay, so right now I have the video feed off, but I can go ahead and turn it on by pressing that play button. Let's go and jump back into here. It's kind of interesting, you have to do a slider. So basically it's infinite uh, suction up to 4,000 pass count. So I actually like that a lot. Uh, it gives you very precise control of how much suction you want. All right, the last thing we're gonna talk about is the settings here, it's in the top right hand corner. So you have all the usual stuff. If you've ever used a vacuum, you can actually change the voice here. All right, so I have it set to English, but you can see the different languages. And you can also change the volume. So one interesting thing, I did test the S6 Max V and it always announces that it's video recording. But with this robot, you can actually turn off the voice and you really don't know if it's recording unless you see the green indicator. So some people might actually like that if you know that it's okay to record and you just have some pets or something so they're not uh, disturbed by the uh, voice prompts. Alright, so you have a cleaning schedule. Uh, one interesting thing is there's no ability to have it go out to a certain room but you can change 
uh, the mode. You have quiet, normal, and turbo. Let's jump back into here. You have a cleaning history. So these are all the times I had the robot go clean. And it kind of gives you a preview of where it went and how long it took and the area. Maintenance. A lot of these robot vacuums will let you know when to replace the consumables like the filter, the side brush, and main brush. And of course, you can buy it or reset it. Now, you have motion detection, something that I haven't seen on a lot of robot vacuums. Uh, if you turn that on, it basically will allow you to record what the robot sees if there's motion. So it's a cool little security feature. So if you plan on using that feature, make sure you place the docking station in an area where you know you want to keep an eye on so it can detect that motion. All right, so function review, basically it will just uh, show the robot on your home screen. All right, find my robot, we'll announce where the robot is. And yes, you do have software updates um, and we're up to date. All right, All right let's go ahead and give you my final thoughts. And just keep in mind that this robot vacuum isn't currently available to the public just yet. You can get the Lucy right now, but if you want the Oli, you have to wait until they launch their campaign on Indiegogo. And there is a special 40% discount if you jump on the bandwagon early on. Alright, so what I like about the Oli is the live video streaming capabilities. And this is one of the few robot vacuums that offer two-way audio. Now, this is great if you want to hear what your pet's doing. Or if you want to just communicate with your pet if you're away for a long period of time. I do like the motion detection. So yes, this can act as a security system if you place it in front of like a doorway or something. So you can detect if the door gets opened. Now, in terms of navigation, it's okay. Now there's a very narrow field of view for the sensors. So it does have to kind of spin around to kind of orient itself and figure out where the obstacles are. Now in terms of clean performance, it did okay. It's not the best out there. But this robot vacuum is really aimed for the pet owner who wants to interact with their pet through the robot. Or if they want to use that uh, laser pointer feature. Not sure how useful it is, but maybe it might entertain the cat while uh, you're away. Alright, like always, like and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching this video and taking the time to enjoy this cool little robot vacuum from Trifle. See you later.